Hey everybody, Mount Dumania here, and welcome back to Vox Popula Diamond, my home away from home. And I have got some stuffage to show you. As you can see, planting some jungle trees, letting them grow, and let me show you why. A uh, huge shout out to um, my friend Connor Calvin who on here is actually, and I, I'm such an idiot, I don't know why I never noticed, uh, his in-game name is his name spelled backwards. It's like Ronick, whatever it is. I it, it, Just write his name down, Connor Calvin, look at it, spell it backwards, that's his name. <laughs> so weird. Anyway, so this is coming along thanks to his help and strangled by Art for giving me some more quartz and stuff. This is coming along very nicely. Um, I had I'm naming everything so I can remember what I've got planted because we've got quite a few layers now. So as the potatoes um, spread, I'm just I'm not selling any of them uh, at the export or anything. I'm just trying to get the field full. And right now my gardening skill is about. Um, maybe in the 430s or something like that and I'll show you why it's important uh, just here in a minute um, to have high skills especially when you're planting plots this big so here I decided to put nether wart uh, I ran out of soil sand so I'm either gonna have to keep an eye out on uh, the GM the the general market um, or the global market or I'm gonna to have to go to the nether and get some there is some in this is a custom world so there is some in the world um, I guess it'd probably just be better to go to the nether um, yeah it doesn't that sound fun <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah this is <laughs> um, let me tell you thank goodness people understand my OCD-ness okay um, we were setting this up, and if you're claustrophobic, you probably don't want to do this. But we were setting this up, and of course, Connor's always does just what is the most efficient. You get the most yield for, you know. And he had this cool pattern, like they were all going in different directions. I mean, just, and I tell you what, my OCD kicked in, and I like literally... I got woozy watching him place them down. And I was like, no, no stop, 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 stop. Uh, and he's like, what? I said, no, we, they have to be in straight lines. I cannot handle. Uh, it literally made me dizzy looking at them. Uh, I mean, I got physically sick to my stomach. So apparently my OCD is worse than what I thought it was. But I mean... Uh, sometimes having something like OCD or something, it can, it you know, it can be a good thing if you harness it correctly and use it to your advantage. But sometimes it can be a bad thing and kind of hold you back from you know uh, what might be something a little more optimal. <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, thank you, Connor, for understanding my OCDness. I appreciate that. So basically, we're just lining these up. And we've got four, and they're not straight lines. They go all the way around. And you can tell they grow very fast. So once we get all the wood we need, um, this is going to be, I mean, you know, and if you have a good, nice axe, it's just a bow. It's gone, you know. I mean, that quickly, I got that, you know. So um, I'm sure his was a little more optimal you know getting more yield but these will all be straight lines and I can handle that and uh, they will all loop like this so yeah um, I can live with it I can live with it I took a deep breath it's okay <laughs> next we are doing uh, since I was so insistent on that I'm letting him set up the melons and this is going to be melons this will be pumpkins I am getting some mob spawns over here i don't know if it's because we've dug down to new you know like if you took away a level 
underneath would technically be new ground. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if that's why they're responding. But I, it's kind of a good thing because, let me show you in my slash chest, I killed a skeleton and I got an actual bone. I killed one. So I'm thinking, since I tried to turn in those um, bone, just regular bones that I had laying around, since I actually killed, I'm hoping it will count against this quest. So that's why I have it separate uh, in my chest so I don't like just stack it with other ones. I want to see if that makes a difference. So anyway, the next level, see, so we've got melons, we've got sugar, it's an, I, probably the next one will probably be sugar cane. So I will probably do sugar cane next, and then we'll get into mushrooms, and I mean, that's pretty much all you can grow, right? Uh, in Minecraft, is that correct? What else, I mean, probably you can do, because I got beets, um... I guess I could grow cactus. Um, hmm. I don't think they take cactus at the export. I'm going to have, we're going to have to go check that out. Since it's getting dark, um, we'll wait till morning, let two more trees grow. And a good thing, if you can, um, a long time ago I learned this when I was first getting into uh, MCMMO. Once you get, I'm, I, my tree chopping is only like 128 or something. Um, once you get into MCMMO and you get, you can do Super Breaker. If you put these in the right positions, you can, when you activate Super Breaker or whatever it is, uh, you shift and right click or whatever. Um, I don't know if they might have disabled it for. Um, I seems like the super minor might be disabled. I can't remember. Uh, seems like Connor told me. But you can do four trees at one time uh, if you're fast, because they only last for so many seconds. If you're fast, you can do more. But I have done four, and I mean you can get a lot of wood quickly. So let me go ahead and go over to um, the export company, and we, we're going to check out um, what and all I need, because I'm pretty sure there's only like 12 things you can grow in Minecraft. So uh, hold on just one second. Okay, here we are at uh, the export company. I love this. So we know we can we know we can do fish. All right, so harvested crops. Let's look. Okay, we got pumpkins. All right. We've got beets, getting ready to do a level for sugar cane. We're working on cocoa beans. We have wheat. We have potatoes. We have melon. We have carrots. Okay. All right, so let's see. Raw food. We have, we're working on nether wart. Meat. I don't know if it's, I mean, that's nothing you can grow. I do collect it. Now, see, apples, but, I mean, I guess I could do a tree farm on top. I was going to do that anyway. Hmm. Now, see, chorus fruit. What do you grow the chorus fruit on? Is that, I mean, I'm, I haven't even messed with that. So, let's see what we've got in processed food. Baked potatoes, bread, chicken... Pumpkin pie, you get eight, but there's so much that goes into a pumpkin pie. I just don't know if it's worth, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Anything else we can grow? See, I mean, you get, I don't know. That's most, yeah, this is all mostly. Now, I have done the math. Um, it really doesn't matter, like, if you do bread versus hay, I mean, you know, it really doesn't, um, like, where is the, like, the wheat, you only get one, but it takes nine bundles to make, you know, a stack of, it. it's about the same thing, you don't, um, it doesn't help, you know what I'm saying, so there's one more other thing I want to check out really quick, um, broken heart, I don't know what that is, 
Um, one more thing I want to check out over at Warp Fishing. So hold on one sec. Okay, so here we are over at Warp Fishing. Okay, so this is something else I want to uh, look at. So the speckled diamond fish, if you get 15 of those, you get a finely cut diamond. Okay. The golden goby, you get just one for one. That's pretty decent, pretty decent. The gray swamp fish, you get slime balls. I mean, I get those really digging and stuff. Sewer oil fish, you get one crude oil. Okay, those are going pretty good. A lot of people are getting into the towny uh, aspect of things. Where you got to and on Vox Populi, it's pretty cool. Check out the web page. I always link it, or I try to in the description. Um, it can get you have to do these very intricate bills, and it's just I mean you got to have all these resources like stacks and stacks and stacks of iron, and it's just I mean it's very complicated to actually do some of this stuff but i mean you get some really good benefits you know what i'm saying um the blue scale rockfish you get luminous dust uh obtained from disenchanting very high quality weapons and gear hmm okay and then long fin catfish you get blaze rods i get blaze rods from fishing uh, i still haven't caught up to the person who passed me in fishing but i am trying and 64 cavern blackfish will get you an end portal. I think I have one of these. All right, so that kind of gives me an idea. But am I missing something that you can grow? Hmm, let's walk back over to the Mesa and think about this. Hold on just a sec. Okay, and so, let's see. Let me try something else too. Um, I want to see how many, if any... Hmm. See, I mean, I chopped the whole tree down, but I didn't get any apples. So, and once you get, I mean, so far up, you know, you just get the, hmm. I don't know if apples would be, I don't know if apples would be worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like a, I mean, a tree farm would definitely be worth it, but I don't think just an apple, you know, I don't know. So, how many more layers am I going to need? All right, let me get out my little pen and paper here. Uh, get a, I have pages of notes as usual. All right, so we're going to do a little, um, and i got to keep my axe in my hand. I never know what I'm going to run across. So, we have wheat. Okay, wheat. And it's full. All right. I do need lily pads too to put over the water. I got to find some lily pads. Then I have potatoes. Potatoes. Okay. Then I have. Um. Uh. It had to be two lines. Um. I have carrots. Okay. Carrots. All right. And then I have beets right here. So let me show you why it's important to have a high um, herbalism um, number. Okay. Once you, I don't think it'll do it with beets though, um, since it has a separate seed. But once you get on up in numbers, and like I said, I think I'm in the 430s. Once you get on up in numbers, it should work over here. Um, you, of course, you you can get multiple things, right? But there is also a chance. Let me find some more. I am not going to replant it. I'm just going to knock it out of the ground. That's the chance. You can get once you get higher numbers, it will replant it for you. MMC, MC MMO will, okay? And it will be. This is like freshly grown right there. It will already be grown some. That is the advantage of having a high herbalism number, okay? Uh, once you get up probably to over 500, I mean, it could be, it could probably be very advantageous to you, you know, to spend some time, see, that one did it. So, right now, it's maybe like 1 in 6 or 1 in 7, but as my number gets higher, of course, it's going to go up. So, I mean, I'm wondering 
any of you guys that have a high herbalism number on Vox or are used to MCMMO, when, I mean, if you like got to a thousand or something, could you conceivably just, you know, grab your crops and everything replant for you? I mean, I'm I'm sure that it, you'd be close. So, I mean, you wouldn't even have to um, try to do some kind of automation, would you? Hmm. All right, so we have carrots. We have beets. I don't think the beets will replant, maybe. I don't know, but they have separate seeds. You get a beet and... Now, I know um, netherwort does because I've seen it do it. I don't know about cocoa, so I've got beets, I've got nether wart, I've got cocoa beans, okay, and then I'm, I've got melon, all right, the next one is going to be pumpkin, okay, and another thing about Vox, you cannot get seeds here from like breaking, um, like breaking the thing and putting it in your crafting and turn it into a seed that does not work here you have to trade with somebody buy them or get them in dungeons or something uh, you cannot make them so this is going to be pumpkin so the next layer i think will be sugar cane um sugar cane and then i can do uh because we're getting i mean we're getting down here to the bottom and Connor is going to like wrap some, we're going to save a lot of that clay. He's going to wrap it around and make it look natural. Uh, that's why we're, so that's why we're, uh, I'm saving those boxes and boxes and boxes of clay. So this next level will be sugarcane. Then we will need one for mushrooms. Um, I don't know if we're going to do one for the red and one for the brown. I don't know if that's going to be separate or not. Mm. So, yeah. And then, the, I guess the only other thing to grow is the chorus fruit, right? But uh, what do you grow it on? I've never I've never messed with it. What do you grow chorus fruit on? Uh, does it need to be in the dark? Does it need to be on in stone? I don't know anything about it. So, if you guys could help me out, that would be most appreciated. So, I guess that is it for now. Again, a huge, huge thank you to Connor for all the work he has been doing and helping me. Um, for Strangled by Art, who has been, every time he goes to the nether, he brings me back uh, a stack there in my bell box, uh, a stack of um, quartz or a stack of something that I need. So that's thank you so so much. Uh, it is going as you can tell to a good cause. Um, I love. Hee. <laughs> so, and somebody asked me. I can't. Was it in a comment? Uh, how do you make the chiseled and stuff? Okay, uh, re just really really fast. In order to make the columns, okay, like that, you just stack one on you stack them on and you get two pillars okay in order to make um let me get back up here so we can look in order to make the chiseled um quartz let me show you really really fast dun, dun, dun. i need to put um some stuff on every one Okay, in order to make, you put three blocks, you get slabs, and stack them on top, you get three chiseled. That simple. That's all you got to do. So, there you go, guys. Um, it's coming along. I um, am curious about, um, has anybody finished the first quest? If you're on Vox, um, let me know. And... Um, coarse fruit. I don't really know anything about coarse fruit. So any suggestions would be most appreciated. I got to get back to work on my circle. Start a circle, another circle underneath this circle. So we can have a floor. And I got to get this line with dirt. Oh, so much to do. So much to do. All right, trees are growing. So time to get back to work.
and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you are not playing on Vox Populi, what's wrong with you? Huh? Come on. Get on here. Get on here and play. And remember, I am running a charity event. It is, I'm gaming, and I figured out a way to score. And I donate that many toys to uh, Toys for Tots at my local Walmart. Um, if you do not have a local Walmart, I'm sure if you look around, there is some sort of church or charity or organization that would love to have donations of toys this time of year uh, for kids that need them. And uh, it's a great cause. And um, I think right now, putting a smile on somebody's face is a pretty good thing to do. All right. So I hope you will follow my 10 can challenge. If you uh, want, you have other YouTubers you love watching, challenge them. Say, hey, do the 10 can challenge. Play for charity. Um, and let me know uh, the donations. If you donate toys, let me know. I will put you on the Facebook page. All those links will be in the description. And, um, uh, yeah, let's let's make a difference in some lives, okay? Let's put a smile on some faces. I think the world needs that right now. All right, guys, I got to get back to work. I will catch you all later. I'm so out of here. Bye.